Fired one day, arrest made the next. Tampa police have now arrested a 16-year-old for shooting at them last night. Happened on 54th Street, and thankfully none of the officers was hurt, but their unmarked car was hit a few times. Let's get out to Fox 18's Josh Cassio, who's live in Tampa with us. Josh, hi there. Uh, so frustrating here. Teenagers and guns is becoming a sad but common theme lately. Yeah, Mark, I mean, barely old enough to drive, but apparently old enough to shoot at police. It's scary crazy. Uh, the Tampa police chief here, the interim chief, said uh, cases like this involving teens and guns, they're extremely frustrating. They're disappointing. But tonight, he's trying to focus on the positive, and that would be the fact that the community came together to help make police make this arrest pretty quickly. Interim Tampa police chief Lee Burkaw is looking at the bright side of what could have been another dark day for Tampa police. This is a case of outstanding police work, community-oriented policing, and the community coming together and being proactive and working with us. Wednesday, the department announced the arrest of a 16-year-old accused of shooting at a police car Tuesday night. Police say their specialized street anti-crime unit was out doing a patrol in the area of 54th Street when a group standing outside of a house opened fire on the unmarked car. Luckily, none of the three officers were hurt, but their vehicle did take at least one round. It was pow, 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 pow. Says one woman who was near the scene when it happened, she says those involved don't respect law enforcement enough. These police, they have a family. They have kids that they want to go home to. Fox 13 is not naming the 16-year-old involved due to his age. He's charged with three counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. A 17-year-old was also arrested on unrelated warrants, including an attempted murder charge. The case is yet another example of the dangerous mix of kids and guns playing out across Tampa Bay, this time putting the lives of police in danger. The officers are putting their lives in jeopardy to protect the community, and the community in this case stood up with us to help us solve the crime, and that's the way it's supposed to work. And the interim chief also said he had a conversation today with the state attorney. They specifically were speaking about this case. He says it will be uh, prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. He also made it uh, a point that he says these two teens may be tried as adults in this case as well. Mark, back to you. Message clearly needs to be sent because many of them are still not getting it. But uh, hopefully this works here. Josh, thanks very much. Now this